presentation is based on a series of images taken throughout the construction of the Eco Farm Education Centre. Farm Eco has a well-established reputation for thoughtful farming stewardship and caring for the environment. David Rose has acted as a catalyst for this imaginative thinking and has now taken his philosophy a stage further by creating an environmentally friendly centre designed to provoke ecological thinking within the local and wider community. Protecting our planet and its future has been given careful consideration at all stages of the planning and construction of this unique build. When possible, green choices have been made in line with the desire to promote a sustainable way of life, by example. The soil is a heavy clay loam, requiring an amount of elevation of the building from the surrounding land. During July of 2010, work began to clear the site at Home Farm. The diggers and earth movers quickly completed the groundwork, with foundations and footings taking up their strategic places. Straw is a major construction material in the Eco Centre, so the natural process of crop growing was designed to be key in the build and what can be better than the material readily available and already on the site? Summer of 2010 wasn't the greatest on record, but by the end of August, harvesting had taken place and the straw baled and ready for building. September was devoted to the construction of the substructure. Blocks, steel, timber and insulation take the building to the floor level. And shortly after, the walls and roof begin to take shape. The first bale is carefully positioned in the back corner. This precise placing is checked for being level and square. And the rest of the back wall quickly takes shape, especially when the bales are so large. The south wall is constructed from compacted earth. A team of volunteers prepared the mix by drying and stone removing. This happened alongside the erecting of shuttering. The prepared mixture was duly compacted. The finished wall provides sufficient strength to allow the roof to be lowered onto it. In a natural process, the sun shines through the triple glazed windows onto the earth wall heats it up and then acts as a storage heater for the main room. Nature's natural heating. This is the team of volunteers who completed the task. The two side walls are also constructed from straw bales and they were infilled once the roof was in position. Willow stakes were used to pin the bales and to add strength, particularly in the corners. As autumn turns to winter, the timber construction begins to reveal the full outline of the centre. The first onset of winter weather sees the hasty erection of a weatherproof covering to protect the bare straw from the wilds of the weather. And in December and through January, we endured heavy snow, some of the worst weather seen for many years. Fortunately, the roof membrane was in position as well and it's to be covered in vegetation to provide additional insulation, literally a green roof. Despite the severe cold weather outside, work continued inside the building and early in the new year, partitioning walls, the toilet block and electrical installation all took place. Floor screeding was laid in February along with more timber cladding 
further work to the toilet and showers, and the electricity, water and telephone installations all followed in March and April. As Easter approached, the outside decking was completed and the straw walls started to be lime rendered. The rendered walls have been worked on by groups of volunteers, pressing the wet lime mix into the straw with bare hands. That's the most efficient way of achieving such a wonderful finish. The three coats of rendering are completed, the shrouding removed and the finished details begin to take shape. During its construction, the Farm Eco Centre has developed a life of its own by creating a network of interested and enthusiastic supporters. Most of you viewing this presentation are likely to be visiting the finished centre with landscape surroundings and a busy programme of events and activities. This building, as a physical example, represents the challenge faced by us all. Farm Eco Education Centre sits squarely as a beacon within the challenge. The challenge each and every one of us can take to develop a sustainable attitude towards caring for the resources of our beautiful world. We hope you'll join us on that journey. represents the challenge faced by us all. Farm Eco Education Centre sits squarely as a beacon within the challenge. The challenge each and every one of us can take to develop a sustainable attitude towards caring for the resources of our beautiful world.